Hey guys, this might be a video you guys aren't very used to on my channel, but I recently got myself a Elgato HD 60S. It's the, the newest model. It was about $180 off the Elgato website. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of an unboxing as well as a setup video. I'm currently using a MacBook Pro, the newest version with the touch bar. It's a 13 inch, and I just haven't really seen any of the tutorials on YouTube and it kind of took me a while to figure out but I finally got it so what you're gonna need is the obviously the Elgato and all the things that come in it and if you want to record your own voice you're either gonna need to use the internal microphone in the MacBook or you're gonna want to purchase yourself a, a separate mic and what I did is I got the the blue snowball microphone it's working pretty well as of now. I have yet to mess with any of the settings, so the volume on this video might be a little too loud or not loud enough, but I'll try my best to fix that in the future. But then you're going to want to connect that to your MacBook, and if you also have the, the newest edition, you're also going to either want to buy a, a USB-C to a USB-A hub, or just some adapters, which I'll show off later in the video but that's going to allow you to connect these different components to the computer with no problems. And make sure that they're USB 3.0 compatible. Most of them that I've seen are, but you just want to make sure because otherwise it won't work. So here we have the box. Nothing spectacular, but as you can see it's compatible with Mac as well as Windows. And inside the box, we obviously have the Elgato. It's not extremely big, but it has some rubber grips on the bottom so it doesn't slide around your desk when you have it set up. This is the out port for an HDMI, and then the in port for an HDMI, as well as an audio cable and a USB-C power cable. And then when you have it all hooked up, there's a bar on the top that you'll see in the middle, and lights flash across the top when it's hooked up correctly. This is the HDMI cord that they provide, and here's the USB 3.0 to USB-C cable that they provide for the power. And here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disconnect the HDMI cord of your already hooked up Xbox from the TV, and plug that into the in port. And then you're going to want to take the HDMI cord they provided plug that into the out port and then into your TV and then take the USB-C port and plug that in and then take your little adapter or a hub plug it into your MacBook and then plug the USB cable into that and then you're going to want to go to this website on the Elgato um, website and download this link which will be the game capture software And then once you download that and get it all set up, this will pop up. And as you can see, it says that it's not connected. Sometimes this is a little messy, but what I usually do is I'll just disconnect and reconnect. And a new one should pop up. And then after a second, it'll eventually pop up the game. And all the audio will be included. And then as I said before, your voice, if you want that, it'll, it'll take an external mic. And this is the external mic that I purchased, which is working pretty well. And this is the box for the mic. It was about $50 on Amazon, and I'm sure you could find it cheaper elsewhere. They also sell it in stores and like Best Buy and stuff. But it works pretty well. Still got to figure some things out, but should be working a lot better than the internal mic of the Mac. But I know this video wasn't expected, and it's not like my other content so I'm also going to be posting the usual videos on Tuesday as well as Fridays and that should that should stay up and I might be able to post even more eventually but now that I got this new Elgato I got a got a bunch of new plans and interesting things coming out on the channel but as of now I have a bunch of videos that I had pre-recorded and pre-made 
before I got the Elgato, so those will be coming out first. And then after that, I should be there should be a boost in quality of the videos and the editing and things like that. I also have a a couple more montages coming out. Some of them, as you know, are subpar and not the best, but I'm working on something currently that it's taken me a lot of time and editing and everything and I'm pretty proud of it and it should be coming out relatively soon. But I'll see you guys next time and it's been Dark Wizard and I'm out. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang.